Let's set up the Facebook Pixel using Google Tag Manager, timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources to getting all of your other codes, tags, pixels, events, and triggers firing correctly with Tag Manager. Now, when it comes to getting started with face the Facebook Pixel, you actually won't be doing much of anything inside of Tag Manager until you want to test. So go ahead and head over to, start by heading over to Facebook and log into the ads account or ads manager that you want to be working with. And once you are, I'm in a demo account here, one that we haven't used in years. Good for YouTube video tutorials, right? We'll go and click on the three little lines, all tools, and then you're going to want to click on events manager. So events manager up here or events manager and manage your business. So we'll click on that. Now, if you haven't set up a pixel before, this is going to be the page where you can actually create your pixel for the first time. Now, for us, we already have one. So I'm going to click on our pixel, Fresh Companies Pixel. We'll come into our settings here. And then if you have already set it up, but you're setting up Tag Manager, we'll go and click on Add Events and then From a New Website. And so once we do, we'll click on From a New Website so we can manually install a code or use a partner integration. So partner integration is what we'll use, which is why we don't do much inside of Tag Manager, even though this is Tag Manager for the Facebook Pixel. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and use partner, click on Google Tag Manager. Sorry, that was kind of fast. Go back here. So you have all these partner options, right? So go ahead and use Google Tag Manager. And then uh, we'll go ahead and click on next. We'll skip this for, skip this for now. Well, it's pretty cool what you can do. Then it's going to ask you to authorize. Go ahead and select the Google Ads account that you're using to manage Google Tag Manager, right? So we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to allow. And then we can come back here and we'll have a drop down list of the accounts that we have access to and the containers. So I'll click on Fresh Edge Companies and AspireEntrepreneur.com is the one we're going to be using. And I'll go ahead and click on Finish Setup. Now, before you click, Facebook is going to instantly publish the pixel to your site. So as soon as you click finish setup, it's on your site, right? So if we come over to Tag Manager right now and we come to our tags, you'll see that we don't have the Facebook pixel. But as soon as I click to add it, the Facebook pixel will show up. So we'll come over to Events Manager. We'll click on finish setup. And now the tag's on our site. So if we come back over, to Tag Manager, and we come over to Versions here, we'll see Latest Live. Oh, well, it's hiked out because it puts my email everywhere. So let's come back over to Tags, and we'll refresh the page. And now you'll see the Pixel ID has been added here. So if we click on this, it's the now it's the Meta Pixel. I'm just going to call it Facebook. We all know it's still Facebook. <laughs> and then you have your Pixel ID. So I'm going to go ahead and save that Pixel ID to our Tag Manager playbook here. So link in the description to grab a copy of this. This is something that we use to stay organized with all of our tag installs. And because I'm OCD, I'm going to just rename this so I know what it is in the future and go ahead and click on save. So that is our Facebook pixel. It's on our site, it's good to go. So I'll come back over to Events Manager and now we can actually start setting up some events. So when it comes to Tag Manager, you can set up triggers and you can actually create a, a custom install with the Facebook Pixel where it can start interacting with the triggers you already have. It's super cool, but it is also a lot more work than just using the Events Manager to set it up for you. So we'll go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over to our landing page. So this is a page on our site and I'll come back over to Events Manager. I'll paste in the URL and I'll click on Open Website. And once the page loads, it might take a little couple minutes for Facebook to figure out the pixels on your site. So if it's not working correctly or it says it's not there, but you see it inside of Tag Manager, just give it a minute or two. And then we'll go ahead and click on track button. And so what we want to do is click on our button. Facebook can see that this, this is a button. And then we'll click on lead. Uh, we don't want to include a value. And then we'll click on confirm. So now every time someone goes and clicks this button and to submit the form, we're going to count them as a lead. Now the advantage of doing it this way, that was super easy, we're done, right? The disadvantage is when you're going through preview mode in Tag Manager, that's not necessarily going to show up. So just keep that in mind, there is a trade-off for this, but typically 
if you're really focused on Facebook ads, just go ahead and use this interface. It's going to be save you a lot of coding headache. You can always switch over to Tag Manager and be more advanced in the future. So we'll go ahead and click on Finish Setup. We'll go ahead and finish. We'll skip our form here and we'll come back to our tool. So I'll go ahead and exit out of, or we'll just click next, confirm, and we'll go ahead and finish. Now in the future, now that it's inside of Tag Manager, if you want to set up additional events, what you can do is you can click on add events from pixel, open event setup tool, and then let's say we have our sales page here. So I'll go ahead and copy our sales page. I'll drop the website URL, open the website, and then you can go through the exact same process we just went through, except this time, if it's a sales page and we're saying that this is a checkout button, we could track a button, click on this, event, add to cart, don't include a value. And so this is someone adding, a car, adding to cart, so it's not a sale, so we don't wanna track the value yet, but this is someone going to our checkout page. So we'd go ahead and click on confirm, and then we'll finish the setup, and now we have an add to cart event. And that's how simple this whole process is setting up events inside of Facebook ads. So last but not least, you can come back over to Tag Manager and to make sure that it's working properly, you can come over to our preview mode here. So we'll go ahead and click on preview and we'll just type in our landing page URL, click on connect, debug, 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 <laughs> debug mode will show up. And if we click on continue, we can see the Facebook pixel has actually fired. And again, you won't see the Facebook events showing up in here unless you modify the Facebook pixel and start having your own triggers and variables inserted into the Facebook pixel, which is a lot more complex than just using the events manager that's built into Facebook. So jump back over to Tag Manager and we are all set with the Facebook Pixel. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you got some value out of this video. Most importantly, you're all set up, ready to go. Google Tag Manager, the Facebook Pixel, and you're set with some custom events. So hit that like button, subscribe for more marketing guides just like this one. Grab a copy of our Tag Manager playbook to help you with all of your tags, tracking and getting organized. And until the next, keep building the business you love.